And I'm screaming, I'm begging for God's sake, you're causing me so much pain. <laughs> And, and at this point, I, I beg them that they don't stop. They just carry on. It's just as if they've got a job to do, and it's as if they don't hear what they don't want to hear, but they carry on. What, what sort of background do these people have? Once again, a wide, a wide background. It come, they come from all sorts of uh, different backgrounds. Um, you, as I say, you can go from the office worker, the shop worker, uh, to somebody who's a company director, to somebody who works for, uh, in a higher level position for the Ministry of Defence, uh, people who are actually in the military. You name it, they're all involved. Now, lately you've been investigating and reporting on numerous accounts of strange, some might say bizarre, animal mutilation deaths. When did you first come across these, and where precisely? Well, the, they're certainly bizarre, that's for sure. Um, oh, many years ago. Um, I'd been monitoring uh, certain, it was basically again UFOs, we, where we were getting concentrations of UFO reports, That's we were focusing on the UFOs, and then um, it uh, seemed to transpire that when these UFOs had been in the area, people started to find these mutilated animals, so I started to look uh, much deeper into this. And then it, it, it went from one thing to another. It started off mainly up in the, uh, the highlands of Scotland where they started to find large numbers of seals uh, dead on the beaches, uh, minus the heads. The heads had been surgically removed. And uh, I spoke to the police up there, I spoke to the veterinaries who did the autopsies on these bodies, and they were all, everybody was baffled. Um, in what, on one occasion they found uh, 40 seals dead on the, uh, a beach, a dry beach. And um, the vet said every one of the seals had had their head, their head removed um, in a very uh, precise surgical manner. In fact.